So the IDP system is a complete package for deployment, operation and retrieval of the magma M pipe and as you can see that's all contained within one unit. Going along with this is also an HPU that provides the power, a control cabin and a spares unit and they're all containerized and flexible to be able to be positioned anywhere needed on the vessel. The IDP you can see in its single unit can therefore easily be positioned over a moon pool or off the edge of the vessel. To give you some idea of the specification, the system you can see here is about 11 metres frame length, 6 metres in depth and then about a 3.5 metre overhang of the platform at the front and about 17 metres in height to the top of the chute. And it weighs all up with three pipes, about 175 tonnes. So the red reel is contained within the framework behind me, supported on bearings to a central hub. And then it's divided into three partitions that can take three separate pipe sections. And each of these partitions has a gutter to give access to the end termination. So the first section of pipe is connected through a hard gooseneck in the centre of the reel to a swivel at the centre that allows us to pump through the swivel to that first section of pipe. The reel's driven by motors that operate on the rim of the reel system in four locations around the rim. And this is good for us because it has force feedback in those that give us a good indication of the tension that's going on during the procedures. This system can take three kilometres of pipe. That pipe's in three one kilometre sections that go in each of the partitions. Each of those pipe sections are terminated with standard grey lock connections, which should be familiar to operators. The chute on the IDP is quite unique to this system. It takes the pipe from the back of the reel, over the top of the machine, and down into the tensioner. In doing that, it fleets each of the partition sections to the centre of the tensioner by pivoting across the top of the machine. There are two winches in the system, a five tonne initiation winch and a 20 tonne hang-off winch. The initiation winch wire can be threaded through the IDP so that both the leading and trailing end of the pipe sections can be managed with this winch from the partitions in the reel through to the tensioner. The hang-off winch supports the weight of the complete string and is used to manoeuvre the end of the pipe from above the tensioner down to the deployment platform level. There are various walkways on the machine and they give access to the operators to get to all the key parts of the process during the operation. The control can be swapped from the control cabin to using a walkabout box for the system. And this is great because it allows the operators to get close to specific tasks that they're doing and operating it within the eye line of the procedure that's going on. The 26 tonne tensioner is mounted on the front of the IDP. Its main function is to support the pipe string and lower or raise it from the seabed. This tensioner has features that allow it to open, giving access to crane in items directly over the centre line of the pipe. It can also be moved back away from the centre line of the pipe to allow clearance for any end fittings to be winched past the tensioner without contact. Here we can see the two hang off clamp arms. These come in and hold on to the end termination of the pipe that's been deployed. We can then bring the second section of pipe down an interface here with the grey lock connection. The HPU is the powerhouse of the system. This hydraulic power unit provides all the power to the various systems on the IDP through these connections you can see here. And it's designed to work globally in all extremes of weather and temperature conditions. The operators can control every function of the IDP, both performing the process and diagnosing what the system is doing at any point in time. They have an HMI interface touchscreen that allows them to see and operate all of those parameters. And this is all within a unit that's ruggedized and designed for being used in all weather conditions.